Hi everyone, I am Precious and in this class we are going to look at the concept of number systems or number bases. Right, so and we are going to consider the place values of digits in different bases and how to convert numbers from one base to another. The key was to take look at, we have numbers, base, conversion, denary, octal and so on. So what number base is all about? So we said by, by definition, it is the expression of numbers in different numeration systems. So we have different base or different systems of counting. You can count numbers in tens, you can count in fours, you can count in twos, and so on. And so if you are counting numbers in tens, we call it base 10. That's the common use, they commonly use the system where we have the counting from zero to nine and then the next is 10. And after 10, 10 and one is called 11, 10 and two is called 12 and so on. Uh, if you're counting numbers in twos, we call it the base two system of counting, which is also called the binary. We're going to see that. All right, so and how do we write numbers in bases? Usually we will write a number, for example, 13 in base 10 is written this way. Okay, so you write the base as a subscript using letters. That doesn't mean we cannot write it using a digit, but we, uh, the reason why we decide to use uh, letters is that to avoid the uh, mistakes because someone, someone might want to write, say, 13 base 4 now, and will mistakenly write it as 13 and 4 this way, which is no longer base 4. This is now 134. And so to avoid this mistake, we choose to write bases with letters, all right? So in writing numbers, of course, we make use of digits. And so the digits of a, a given system is important that we look at it. And so for base 10, which I talked about, you have 0 to 9 as the digits that we use in writing numbers in base 10. And so you can see that the highest digit here is 9. And so it is with every other base system or number base. The highest digit you can find in any number system is always one less than that base. Meanwhile, remember that base 10 is also called the denary system or the decimal system, while the base 8 is also called the octal system. So you can see here now the highest digit is 7. And for the binary system, which is also the base 2, the highest digit is 1. And so in general, like I said, the highest digit for every number base is one less than the base. Okay, so we want to now look at how to find the place value of a given digit in a particular number. Now, of course, it is easy to recall that for base 10, uh, or you have your 10, your unit 10, 100, and so on. So it's easy to find those ones. Now, but basically, how is this gotten? So we say we get it by, you know, taking the powers of the base depending on the position of the digit. Let's look at that. So we are using this example now to find the place value of three here. Now, how do you first of all find the position of three in this digit, in this number? So what you do is to first of all, give the numbering starting with zero from the last digit from the right, then towards left. So this is usually the zero. And then this is the, first, the, the, the position of this is one. Position of this is two and three. And if there's another one, you have four and so on. And so to find the place value of three here now, I will pick the three, multiply it by the base, and then raise it to the power of its position in that number, which is two in this case. And so if you simplify this, 10 raised to the power of two is 100. And so three times 100 gives you 300. And so the place value of three in this case is 300. But if I decide to change this base to any other thing, this three will not retain that place value as 300. And that's why it's important that we look at this. So let's look at the second example here. You have five to six base eight. So what's the place value of two in this case? Of course, you can see here now that the position of two here is one. And so I will pick the two times eight raised to the power of that one. And that's going to give me two times eight raised to the power one is eight. And so that's two eights, which otherwise is 16. And so you can see here, assuming this was base 10, the place value of this two would be 20. But because it is in base eight, it is what? 16. And so that's how to look uh, at place values of digits in different number 
systems. All right, so quickly we are going to look at the concept of conversion of numbers from one base to another. So we said that this is a process of changing a number from a base to another base. So if you are given a number in base 10, you can actually change it to other bases. And if you are given numbers in other bases, you can bring them back to base 10. And then the other type of conversion is converting between different bases except base 10. That's other than base 10. For instance, you can be asked to change a number from base 2 to base 8, from base 7 to maybe base 9, and so on. So let's begin with the first one. Conversion of numbers from base 10 to other bases. So we have an example here. It says convert 1 to 6, base 10 to the base of 8. How do we do this? We follow the process of what we call successive division. And as you do successive division, you will be recording the remainder of each division step. And so I begin with the first one. And what are you going to be dividing with? You'll be dividing with the, the new base that you are converting to. So since I'm converting to base 8 in this example, I'll be dividing by 8. And so for each step, when I divide, I'll record the quotient and also the remainder. So 1 to 6 divided by 8 is 15 remainder 6. And then I'll divide again by 8. 15 divided by 8 is 1 remainder 7. And then I'll divide again. And at this point, you can see that 8 can no longer divide 1. And so at that point, I will now write, I'll record 0 remainder 1. So whenever you get to a point where your divisor can no longer divide, then you just write zero remainder what you tried to divide. That is the dividend, right? So, and then at the end, how do you then get your solution? Simply record the digits of your remainder from bottom up. You can see this arrow. And so our solution is 176 base eight. So 126 in base 10 is actually equal to 178 in base eight. Sorry, 76 in base eight. And then we have a second example. We are asked to change 2, 5, 1, base 10 to base 6. Of course, this is the fourth example in our lesson, but the second in this uh, section. Okay, so we begin by dividing 2, 5, 1 by 6. And when you divide, you will get 41 remaining 5. You divide 41 by 6, you will get 6 remainder 5. You divide 6 by 6, you get 1. And so even when you have remainder zero, that's no remainder at all. Please record zero as your remainder. And then finally, you divide this, you have zero remainder one. So our solution is now counting up, which is 1055 base six from base 10. So to change a number from base 10 to a particular base, just divide that number successively with the new base you are going to and record your remainder from top, bottom up, and that is your solution. So we look at uh, how to convert numbers from other bases back to base 10. Example one here says we should convert 4, 3, 2, 1, base 5 to base 10. And so what do we do here? We do what we call successive multiplications and addition. So uh, like what we did during place values, that's going to be handful here. So you are going to also record the position of each of these digits. And so you begin with the, the first digit here, 4. You pick your 4 and then multiply by the base and raise it to the power of each position. And then add, pick the next one. That's all you will be doing until you have picked all the digits. And it's, it will also be good that you put this in brackets. All right. Okay, so what you have here now is to simplify what you have gotten, and that will give you your solution. So we go 5 raised to the power of 3 is 1 to 5, and then 5 to the power of 2 is 25, to the power of 1 is 5, and anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. And so we try to multiply out. This gives us 575, 10, and 1, and then the sum is 586. And you can see here, I decided not to put a base here. And so whenever you are given a number without a base, the default base is base 10. And so you can also write the base if you want, and you can leave it this way, so far as you are sure it is base 10. And so the second example here, 
is asking us to change 10110 base 2 to base 10. So we take our expansion first. And so the numbering, remember this numbering is not uh, compulsory. So it's something you can always do offhand. And so I will, this is my 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so that's why you have, you pick 1, multiply by the base, raised to the power of each position, which is 4. When you do it for all, the next you simplify. 2 raised to the power of 4 is 16. 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8. And then this is 4, 2, and 1. So when you multiply out, this is 16. 0 times 8 is 0. This time this is 4. You have 2 and 0. And the sum of all of these gives us 22 in base 10. You can see here I decided to write my base. All right, so that's how to convert numbers from other bases back to base 10. And finally, we look at how to convert numbers between other bases other than base 10. This other concept requires two steps. And the first is that, of course, base 10 is like a door. In fact, you cannot do without it. So you would need to come to the door and before, assuming you're going out, before you decide where you are going, the door is important. So, and that's the first step here. So you first of all, take whatever you are giving here to base 10. And then from base 10, you can move it to any other base as required. So in this case, we are moving from base 3 to base 2. So we first of all, move from base 3 to base 10. And that is exactly what we did here. So our normal expansion, this is 0, 1, 2. And so we expand it this way. We simplify. This will give us 9, 3, and 1. And so when we multiply, 9 times 1 is 9, 3, 2 times 3 is 6, and this is 0. And so we have 15 base 10. And so from base 10 now, we can then convert to base 2. So which you divide uh, successively with 2, which is our new base. And that will give us 7 remainder 1, 3 remainder 1, 1 remainder 1, and 0 remainder 1. And so when we count up, our solution becomes 120 base 3 is equal to 1111 base 2. And so that's just the simple step. First of all, come to base 10. And from this then we can go to any base at all. And so that's exactly the step here, 301 base 4 to base 7. And so what do you have here? First of all, expand. The position here is 0, 1, 2. And so you pick 3 times 4 to the power of 2, which is the position, plus 0 times 4 is the power 1, and so on. And so when we uh, simplify this, we'll have 16, 4, 1. And that gives us 48, that's 3 times 16. This is 0, and this is 1, which is 49 base 10. And then from base 10, we move to base 7 by dividing successively with 7. And that gives us 7 remainder 0. You divide again 1 remainder 0. You divide finally, you have 0 remainder 1. And that gives us our solution here as 100, that's 100 base 7. All right, and that's where we'll end it uh, for this class. Kindly go through and ensure that you don't have any question. And if you do, you can always let us know. So kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, please do like and share our YouTube videos. And you can find related uh, videos in the description below. Uh, we'll see you in our next video. Bye.